Welcome back to another Ab Nation podcast from Friday night with the hockey coach Google called Francis directly for before country Italian. On amazing great Friday night, April 12, 2024. Couple of game, a couple of days before the end of the season of the Montreal Canadian and of course of the NHL. Yes, it's happening today. Yes, I call it. Yes, it's again. Lane Hudson signed his contract, entry-level contract with the Montreal Canadiens a couple of hours ago. And now he is a new member of the Montreal Canadian organization, the NCAA player with 30 goals, 67 assists for a total of 97 points and 76 games with an average of 1.29 per game. Uh, and NCA, one of the highest number in the in NCA history. We're going to talk about Lane Hudson tonight, uh, the new player with the Montreal Canadiens. We're going to talk about all the news around the Montreal Canadiens tonight. And uh, finally, we're going to do through the prediction of NHL game tomorrow and, of course, uh, of the Frenchy quiz at the end of the show. So that's what we got tonight, guys. Uh, hopefully, you have an amazing, great uh, day. And ready to rock and roll your weekend here in Thailand is the Songkran Festival Water. And uh, it started two days ago. And uh, I'm hiding to get the water, but I'm going to be out uh, today and to enjoy the weekend of the Festival of the Water around everybody. So we we'll see happening. We have a few, but uh, first at the beginning of the show, we're going to welcome everybody. Mr. Sparta is in the house tonight. Welcome back, Mr. Sparta. Hopefully, you're doing well. Thanks to stop by to say hi to everybody. Sebastian, number four, number two, is in the house. What about Mr. Depp? Insight. Uh, welcome in the house. And then we have um, Sebastian, number two. And then we have RJ Calabro is in the house tonight. Uh, thanks so much. Uh, it's confirmed about the contract of... Uh, of course, uh, the Lane Hudson. Uh, what about Mr. Rodwick Kings uh, from Utah? He just wait for the KUDs uh, to pop up uh, over there. Rodwick Kings. Uh, hopefully, he's doing well. Uh, of course, he watched his uh, Los Angeles King. Uh, what about our friend at Appel Province de Quebec, dans la région de Sherbrooke, uh, Nicolas de Bobby Bono? Welcome back in the house, uh, Nicolas. Hopefully, you're doing well. Uh, what about a friend for you? I believe he's still in Thailand. I think he leaves the 15 uh, for you. Welcome in the house. Uh, hopefully you have an amazing, great uh, Saturday morning, 8 o'clock a.m. for you. Thanks to stop by. What about a friend from the la région de Ottawa? Mr. Claude Richard. De retour avec nous ce soir. Welcome back. 1-1, uh, the blues and the hurricane. What about our friend, the co-host of the weekly recap and, of course, of the local room? And the moderator, Mr. Enor Tap, the legend and the winner of the fantasy hockey of the Hockey Nation at this year, ESPN. And the winner of the Friendship Quiz season 2023 uh, last year. There we go. He own is the word legend in the house. Uh, talking about moderator, directly. From Toronto, York, Mr. Luciano Graziano is in the house tonight. From Alberta, the number one cover of the Calgary Flame, Randy Walkman is in the house tonight. April 16, I have lower bowl tickets, hoping to see Lane Hudson and the ad win for you. We wish you the best uh, for you. He should be a part of the game, I believe, uh, with the Montreal Canadiens. So it would be a good opportunity for you for you to enjoy the game. Thank you. Uh, we wish you the best. Uh, back in Montreal, April 15, from Thailand. Here we go. On the traveling, uh, safe travel, mister, for you. Hopefully, your Tom is feel better. Patrick LeWhite, uh, back in the house. Uh, another home run for Oteni. And then Freeman. Uh, and that's the situation with the baseball tonight. Not many games in the NHL. I believe have a couple of games, but not much. A really big game. More for one specific game, one specific team. But overall, not a big night of hockey. What about Mr. Shucks? Has the most gold in the season. Najib Brother franchise history. Philip Forsberg accomplished this tonight, I believe. 
uh, with his, uh, not only did I score, uh, yeah, he scored his 44 goal of the season, uh, assisted by Novak Evangelistas. Evan, Evan uh, Martinuk score. Guys, uh, I'm really interested about Zach Bolduc. Uh, another goal for the Blues. Uh, the Oilers uh, start the game against the Coyotes tonight, and then let out Flying Ducks, uh, Wild Golden Knight. Maybe the you know the Golden Knight, the Oilers, uh, and the Final Three Canadian, the Coyotes, uh, would be an impact for the standing overall. Uh, we have a few people, Sebastian. Uh, about that one, and after that, I've been really well. I've uh, been enjoyed Thailand. It will be a happy Hudson sign. Thank you for asking. Here we go. Uh, Master Leaderboard Gallagher minus 25, Madison minus 24. Uh, about that, uh, and guys, this one missed the cut. Uh, Good evening, Ryan Swart back in the house tonight. Uh, welcome back. Uh, thanks for being with our Canadian show. Yeah, I uh, don't uh, Bob's is in the house. Uh, welcome back. Uh, William McClary is in the house. Uh, welcome. Uh, Gary Conway is in the house. I tried to go all the way, guys. Uh, let, let, uh, flick, uh, flick, uh, Fun Friday night, guys, is an unopen night. Uh, we don't have a lot of template uh, specific, but I'm going to talk to you guys tonight. Um, as I don't want too much template, you can ask any question from everything. And uh, but I'm going to focus at the beginning for Lane Hudson, and then the, uh, the Montreal Canadian pick. And I'm going to ask a question, guys, uh, about the Montreal Canadian defenseman. And uh, who do you select for the Montreal Canadian? And who do you think they should win the game tomorrow against Ottawa Center? So we're going to flew that, and then we're going to talk about the, the Sinequas B record, the Austin Matthews 70, the Kisharab, uh, the MVP. We're going to flow everywhere tonight uh, with no uh, template, like I mentioned to you. I think we'll have a good two hours together. Coach feel good tonight. So that's a good news uh, for everybody. Expectation for Hudson next year. I think Kent will flip Madison, but Hudson on the top line with Coley and power play one. I think his rookie title would be like it, like Hudson this year. Not a good, not a bad, um, not a bad uh, statement about this uh, for you. But first, you need to make the team. That's the first important thing about that. Secondly, um, they will do exactly what they did with Sakaski. They're not going to give him right away the full pie. So I don't expect him to jump in all over Madison right away. They will go slowly, bring, bring Hudson uh, with a team. And then with the time, they will sharing exactly what happened with Sakaski. And then they now play on the first line. Hudson is going to be that way. I feel for me, Hudson will be better to play with Sabal next year as a pairing, uh, in my opinion. Uh, because the 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 way Saval coached the players on the bench, the way he talked with them, that would be a good partner uh, for next season if he make the Montreal Canadiens. Well, I'm not guaranteed yet. Uh, the deal is over. Uh, and I'll tap about the KDs. Uh, here we go. Uh, Cape Weber about this. Uh, uh, Martin said, we'll be back as it comes to Montreal next season. Yes, uh, Martin said, we is going to be back. Franco is in the house tonight. Thanks for all the likes we got already. Do uh, bring more likes. That would be great, uh, if you don't mind. Uh, Abination, I lost the bet. Uh, so I, I am. Uh, welcome back, Abination. Certified final uh, set uh, Boston College Denver uh, tall order for Denver to take out the Boston College. The channel would be great, uh, be big for the Denver uh, University, but is the team could be the Boston College. Uh, and on top, I'm not too sure how I feel about this. I feel like uh, they should invest into a plus like San Antonio. Ah, San Antonio, San Antonio. Franco, coach, were you a pleasant a surprise to have, have a video of uh, Camilleri uh, microphone up until he and his family went to the game recently. Nice. Uh, yeah, it, it, again, uh, this is a new way with, me, with Chantal Maccabee, and uh, they are really more uh, close. They try to be sure the player play with the Montreal has some kind of relationship. 
this is all about Chantal McCabe. Yes, a bit surprised, but it's great to hear that, uh, Franco, by the way. Um, Gary St. Martin, so he would take a Hudson under his wing. Uh, Sebastian played with the young coach. Uh, I don't want to make uh, you think uh, that I think Madison would be moved this offseason. At least they are a uh, huge overpay. I think it's number three. They move Madison. I don't expect Mike Madison to leave the Montreal Canadian guys. Um, too important for the Montreal Canadian. There will be a big mistake in Montreal. Again, guys, you cannot survive. In it. This is exactly what happened with Ottawa. Right? They gave the team to the young players at 23 years old and under. And what happened? They struggled. You have to keep a balance. I will send to you for you. I would love to have another player's experience in NHL and old Hudson, Rebacker, Mayu, and Laval Rocket for an extra year and make the transition slowly with experience around the players. For me, that would be a big mistake to bring Hudson, Rebacker, and to remove Madison. It's too much. It's too much at a young age. The players to defensemen have to reach his peak or a little bit better at 23, 24. Look, Caden Cooley. Look, the defensive we struggle and find the net. We are too young. And you add and you, rem you remove Mike Madison, that would be a really bad move for the Montreal Canadiens, in my opinion. Uh, we'll see what we got here. Uh, Mayu and Rebecca have been playing and way uh, more higher caliber hockey. Carolina Sun and say is nowhere close to American Hockey League or Swiss League. I don't know, but uh, Jack Eichel, Adam Fox, uh, Leach uh, did a great transition from the Brandy Katschuk, make a great tra transition from NCA for. <laughs> To NHL, Patrick. We thought what the third person going to make. I'd look for the 13 year in the row now, Luciano. Uh, look like uh, those that game of the LA play on the Utah pay off uh, run. Uh, so I say nothing about the point fan and the fact that they are pay off. Uh, I don't know. For me, I think I soon would play better with NHL players uh, and not worry about him uh, for Gary. Coach, what is your likelihood that at some extent make the ad next fall, or do you think he goes to Laval for at least one season? Look, it all depends what happening, Bob, during the summer. And when I said that, um, I'm going to talk about this. And, um, we, like I said, Friday, guys, I'm go all over the map. So let's go here, guys. All right? This is the defenseman from Montreal Canadian under 25 years old. We have Cooley, NHL, Jekai, Harris, Barron, Strabo. All right? This is five of them. That's not including, guys, Madison, Kovacevic, and Sabah. That's eight of them. Already in NHL today. Now, you have behind them Hudson, Rebecca, Mayu. All three have a contract with the Montreal Canadiens. Trudeau has a contract, and Nolander is a contract. We have Angstrom. He's still in the playoff right now. We'll see if he's going to sign a contract. And then the rest, guys, it's Kostenko uh, uh, and, uh, and Russia. And then you have Sobolev and OHL. And they have Middlestad and NCA. This is only under 25 years old. Uh, Konishkov is on the uh, KHL. At some point, Montreal Canadiens can take their time to say, you know what, we can put them in, in Laval for, for, for the full year or maybe for at the beginning of the season and see what happening. Without the old players we have already, guys, if the Montreal does not move out, Baron, Kovacevic, uh, Jakai, Harris, whatever who they are, uh, there are not many spot guys for the Montreal Canadian uh, players like uh, Hudson Rebecca right away. It would take time. I, I, I cannot predict what could happen with Hudson. Um, they returned last year, Sean Farrell, and they bring back right away Jordan Harris. Um, 
would be interesting what would happen again it's all depends uh, and uh, what Montreal is going to do during the summer it's a, a good problem and yeah nothing to rush anyone uh, to jumping right away in NHL anyway we have enough defensemen right now to cover the Montreal Canadiens so I don't I apologize but I don't give me be not the right answer right now I just don't want to go right away uh, because I don't know yet like Hudson, Rebacker, and Mayu become 9, 10, 11 defensemen for the Montreal Canadiens. OHL Predi draft on the way tonight, uh, William. For that, uh, Hudson will be uh, the uh, first uh, power play uh, the, for the game mark next season. Madison Ben on the first power play will soon be done uh, and 26. Uh, still, if you make the team, I would say yes to you and 26. I'm still wait what could happen for him at the rookie camp and then next season. Uh, would be interesting what happened in, uh, uh, for that. Yeah, a couple of people knock at door. Brother door to zero, Chicago uh, zero. Uh, we are elevating a late second rounder made to high. Gave time uh, him time, Patrick. Um, I think. You, you're right about the time. Ron, coach, how exactly did Ellie clinch a playoff spot last night? I thought they need uh, one more point or did send away to lose one more game. Uh, I would say to you, um, I would have to look again the standing. The only thing I can understand, Ron, uh, for that, is that the time breaker. And let me confirm with you. Uh, for that, they are 95 points, right? And um, and with that part of that, they are 42 W. But that's the time breaker at the end of the night. Um, um, could happen. So the total of the point uh, St. Louis can reach is three games, 6.95. But 99% sure the King had the tie breaker over the Blues uh, at the end of the night. Same situation with Nashville. So uh, that's happening about this game. Franco, question, coach. Does the next ab game have an impact on the lottery? What can we expect from the players, uh, coaching, friends, uh, expectation? Uh, are you talking about the game again, Ottawa Senator? I have a question about this tonight. Uh, um, I'm going to fly this uh, without knowing exactly if this one. Uh, no, 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 no. There we go. That's the question I have for you guys. Montreal Canadiens should win or, or not uh, against Ottawa, Detroit. At that moment, Montreal Canadiens are number 28 in the standing, number 5th in the standing, and, and they are right now one point behind the Coyotes, if I can recall it properly. I want to confirm uh, we go. They are the same number of the KDs, but the KD have more W and Montreal Canadian, and they are one point behind the Ottawa Senator. So Montreal Canadian are fifth, and they are two points behind the Calgary Flames. Uh, Calgary have one game in hand. So at the end of the day, Montreal could finish five, six, seven, eight, or nine in the NHL draft. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about the NHL draft. If you pick fifth, guys, you're going to have an excellent hockey player. Whatever who they pick is going to be an excellent hockey player. They put number six, seven, they're going to be an excellent hockey player. It's just the choice on the board is going to be less of what they expect at number five versus six, seven, eight, or nine. But still, at the end of the day, uh, if they pick number five, it's going to be a a great forward or a great defenseman uh, for that. Uh, they all do a run. I uh, cannot wait for Angstrom. Uh, Mr. Six, uh, Max, uh, uh, we don't talk a lot about Adam Angstrom. Uh, he's right now with a team in uh, Sweden, uh, Rockle, Rockley, maybe Rockle. I, I cannot pronounce that name team, but uh, they are in the semifinal and uh, do very well during the playoff. Uh, uh, Max, uh, this is another player underrated for the Montreal Canadiens. Uh, for that, uh, I'm coming for a title next season. 
the channel. Here we go. Blues still out of the channel because the nice, uh, exactly, Randy. 92 point. Uh, Nick, uh, Nicholas is in the house. Uh, welcome, Nicholas. I was thinking about you. I didn't see you the last couple of days, a couple of weeks. Uh, Zef Lacab is in the house. Thank you guys for the click on the likes. Uh, you will come. Uh, also, we have his chance to make the app next season. Uh, definitely, is going to have any opportunity like any other players. Uh, Gary for Lane Hudson. Uh, now that we uh, to be back. Uh, uh, if you get a good offer, top 15 pick, uh, and the draft uh, like he got for Romanov, you need to consider that offer. Which player are you talking about and to get out of the lineup for the Montreal Canadian. So who do you believe N26 he would get trade? Uh, give it up and home run by a very bad baseball team. The Rockies tend to two and two ways act on the round. Better to worry about the J season. No trade, Madison. Ça va bien, merci. And you. There we go. Roy is in the house from Bangkok. I think Kane have a better again blues coach. Yep. Uh, exactly, Randy. Uh, about that, uh, you're welcome, Ron. 17 years old, Celebrini won the OB Maker uh, tonight, the youngest ever in NCA. Uh, very interesting about Celebrini, guys. Um, he's on the team All American with uh, Lane Hudson, by the way, uh, for that. Uh, any ad fans not uh, excited with Lane Hudson sign need to check Lur polls uh, uh, for Gary Conway? Uh, yes. Uh, Guys, when you look about Lane Hudson, guys, uh, just signed his contract at three years uh, today with the Montreal Canadiens. And he's going to wear number 48 uh, with the Montreal. Uh, this is new number. And then him and Celebrini, all an all American. Uh, the way of Hudson play, guys, uh, this is like, look his move left and right. Uh, this is what Lane Hudson accomplished for the last two seasons in NCA uh, with great hands, uh, a great move. Uh, Good edge work, uh, cut back, change the direction, and feed the teammate on the ice. The most important things, guys, about uh, Hudson is that uh, for me is that uh, he create space on the ice, uh, he create time on the ice. So when you do that, you the the benefit of that is their teammate have a better chance uh, to take advantage of opportunities. Uh, when you have a player like Hudson accomplish those kind of the creativity for his teammate on the ice. And this is what Hudson accomplished. You can see on those video guys is the way he control the puck and move and fake left and right. He's really good with the moving uh, with his head, uh, with shoulder. He separate his body very well. And I think we don't give enough credit for what he accomplished in NCA. And, and then everybody complaining about his weight, only this. They only look for negativity about Hudson. It's not going to be easy. He's not going to become a Bobby Orr like Patrick said yesterday. And I don't think so. Nobody mentioned about Bobby Orr. But we should be excited to have a player like Lane Hudson draft 62 overall pick. What they accomplished in NCAA, not many defensemen play an NHL did it. That's the beauty behind that. And Leonard Sun, uh, born in uh, Michigan, grow in Chicago area, and he's going to play his first game again, his favorite player, Patrick Kane. So for me, this is what is Lane Hudson and what he can bring from Montreal again. Uh, remember, guys, for me, it reminds me the Piquet Subban uh, a rival with the Montreal Canadiens. We know Piquet came with some kind of excitement. He was carrying the puck all the way from the behind the net. And, you know, and I said the type of the teammate he is. I'm talking about the flash he can bring on the ice with some kind of move left and right. It's not going to be easy like he did in NSA. The, the space, the time, and the space on the ice is not the same. But he's so creative. He's so unique. And I have no doubt in my mind he's going to be a, a good hockey player in the NHL. I don't predict 80 points, 70 points. I feel he's going to be a good hockey player enough uh, uh, to stay in NHL. People say he's only 155, 180. Guys, and four years, three years, he's going to be 170 pounds at least. 
look, all the players draft at 17, 18 years old and tell, check their, their weight a couple of years after that. That's just normal. It's going to be fine. It's going to be grow, everything like that. How we cannot be excited, like Gary said, we have Yorel Sarkaski. We wait for the player like this for 50 years. Now we have Sarkaski have an amazing great year. Now we add uh, Lane Hudson, where he could become a solid player for the Montreal Canadiens, bring some dimension we never have on power play, St. Markov. I'm getting excited about that. I'm not saying it's going to be uh, going to be an Hall of Famer, but how he cannot be excited about that? To be positive and let him the time, let him three, two years, three years. Many fans that want to trade Sakaski last year. Many fans say he was a boss after 39 game. Many fans say he should not play in NHL. Everybody is unique. Everybody take time to grow. We just need to be patient with everything. Temporary day starts in expression is not the Bobby Orr. I, I, again, nobody said Bobby Orr. Nobody said Bobby Orr about Lane Hudson. No one. Not here. I did not see anyone compared to Bobby Orr. But my point behind that is a lot of fans are really negative. It, it looks like they don't want to accept a player could become successful in, in the NHL. Because he's small. Ah, uh, he cannot play any game. Oh, too small to play in NHL. He should not play with Montreal Canadian. We already go negative. Let him play. Let him alone. Don't talk about him. Me, I'm talking about him because I'm excited about him. It's fun to hear a player like this. A small player could maybe make a great career in NHL. Because many of you said... You need to be 6'3", 6'4", 6'5", to play an NHL. Cole Caulfield, too small, scoring goal. Not too bad, 25 goals this year. But it's not good enough. Not good enough. He should score 40 goals. This is why I feel like sometimes the, the fans are negative too much. Enjoy. Encourage. Support. That was my work. No check fake was there, but here we go. And after that, did not make the final three. Uh, here we go. I don't know what's going on. Uh, Rogel is already in the final uh, rank and the nine. Uh, sweet boat on the first turn. Yes, I'm sorry about this, Nicholas. Uh, surprise uh, that team. Uh, by the way, Philip Erickson, another draft pick for the Montreal Canadiens, had a good playoff, by the way. Scored his first two goal playoff a couple of days ago. Uh, that game for the Nashville Sharks. Enjoy your game. I'll be great for you, my friend. Gordon created the platter development that was no existent with Benjamin. Great point about that, Zeph, about this. And I thought Hudson should have been in the final uh, with him. And Martin said, we need to give Lane Hudson a chance to play on the third or fourth line. But Sebastian is not a forward, so he's going to play on the pairing. Um, just put him on the roster and give him time to set, to get the, that the accommodation and his adjustment. Uh, question, Coach. And Monson said loud and clear he would vote for a team in Quebec City. Is he really said this because he really want a team in Quebec City or because you know it won't happen? I don't know if you don't if, if you know it's not happen, but I think for him. It's going to be benefit you have a team in Quebec City. The rivalry always be high between both cities. Uh, the, the, the popularity of hockey is increasing. They're easy to make marketing and you, it's easy to promote the team. It's just be benefit a Montreal Canadian around. They've been there before. So they don't have to test things. So what could happen if you have a team? And no, they've been there. They know what's happening. So uh, I, I don't see he said that just to please. Uh, or he, he said that because, you know, it never happened. I feel like he wants to be honest uh, at the end of the day. And if I was on his part, I would do the same thing. Uh, we'll do before starting to said he would do this and that. Uh, uh, what was that for? 
Should I bring back it? Chaque chef could have Celebrini and Will Smith to help the roster construction, William. Uh, yes, back-to-back uh, -back year. Uh, we know William uh, the Will Smith was number four. And I'm, I'm working right now on the draft pick about strengthening, guys. It's, I'm going to get something the next couple of days to give you. And, you know, like Chicago, I don't know. Can they get uh, Demidov and Babar? Every time, like Fentelli and I'm. And I'm going to be number three. They're going to get another solid forward, Langstrom with Fentelli. Um, I said Fentelli with Columbus and uh, Carlson with Anaheim. So, and all those things, guys, on the bottom, it's the same thing. Is it not crazy? Same thing at the bottom four. No one get better. And Montreal finished fifth, it will be the same thing. If Coyotes finish sixth, it will be the same thing. That's, you think about this, guys. It's the same team last year are going to be the same team going to select the top six players in NHL back-to-back -back year. Here's what it is. Uh, Franco, about the beer, <laughs> yeah. Hey, coach, a great one for the U play for the then in the championship. Yeah, great about this, Woody. A uh, great game uh, overall for the Denver Pioneer. They came back to win the game 2-1 and over time. Rick Kane is in the house. Uh, welcome back, guys. Don't forget to click on the likes. Uh, also, this 5-10. Uh, yeah, he is uh, Gary Connery. Yeah, great foundation to start from. See, he's going, he's going to be a good second round choice. Uh, William, I agree with you. You know, you would like to have a little bit more power. I think he's not like um, he have a not a difficult taste, but I would like to have a little bit more speed at the beginning. Like his power uh, to explode better, right? You get a puck, boom, right? Move your feet quicker. But when you have the puck, and when he's skating after that, uh, he's pretty good. Crack is in the house. Uh, welcome back. Uh, you're right, coach. You want to soon again say about? Awesome. Yeah. You grow two inches, Gary. Hamilton uh, have a great rank uh, 30 years ago. Quebec City had a great one, but uh, leave Hamilton look like Quebec. I was not getting anything. Another team. Uh, yeah, he's excellent with a dynamic uh, player either way. Uh, Nicholas, uh, uh, 48 are soon in shot. I can't see that, uh, Crux. Uh. If I soon want to put on the few pounds, I would take him around a few good restaurants in Montreal, uh, Franco. I think he's going to find them very well. Uh, one of the players have a great uh, taste for the restaurant in uh, Montreal is uh, Mario Armia, by the way. This summer will be uh, interesting for our son and the ad camp in September. Yes, uh, they're going to join the rookie camp now. And the last two years, he could not develop on the development camp for Montreal Canadiens uh, because he was already when NCA. But you're right, William is going to get that level. Uh, go Phoenix, go Nicola. Not too long ago, people were said Sarkisky is the boss. And look what happened. Then said people said ground night, night, night now. Yeah, again, will the time will tell us. Uh, Aki Thomas showing is a great prospect. Uh, he take a long time to uh, for Thomas guys to become uh, uh, players in NHL, uh, or he can become a Thomas in, uh, in NHL. He's been in the American Hockey League like uh, I think the uh, with um, Villardi and Chukat for many years. Uh, um, it's sad to see that, but uh, that's happening for him. And uh, hopefully he can reach uh, um, that level. He's a 2000 guy, so he's uh, now 24 years old. And uh, he had three goals this year and five games with the Kings. Uh, always been, you know, this year have a good year. Uh, this is the year for him, the time we tell us, right? Uh, but um, fifty-one overall pick, by the way, for Thomas. Uh, great point talking about him. Um, 
Vane. Uh, it's uh, just a process. Stone Clary for skating with the guests. Uh, John and Tom is following me. Isn't that crazy, guys? This is why I don't like the NHL playoff uh, until they don't fix it. Now, Vic is going to make the playoff, guys, with $96 million. They have to do something about that. Um, it's not fair. It's not fair. Yeah, these are part of the roster, and they, they play with the rules. I agree with you. But this is a bad rule. This is about the rules. And the month and the Vegas shit. The, the rules guy, it's easy. It that's easy. You have to be sure you are under eight to three point five million dollars. At the end of the end of the season. And any player is going to be on the injury. If they come back for the playoff, you have to be again at eighty three point five million dollars. Why you play 82 games in NHL under $83.5 million, but you go on the playoff, and your cap now is a $96 million. Doesn't make sense to me. Jumbo, good player, affect all other players. When they get a bunch of the good players, the whole team would be better. Yes, of course, sir. Are they out thinking to put him at the lineup at the start of the season? Uh, I don't think so, Luciano. I think they will have to wait, like I mentioned to you a little bit earlier. Coach, I agree with Quebec today. Uh, Quebec day would be awesome. Oh, uh, yes. Aki is looking really good for LA. Yes, uh, I will uh, put uh, Artson on his wrong side, uh, the right side, uh, and hope he can uh, pivot in the corner point chasing the pocket. This is Tom Watson. I don't know. I think Samuel Girard did it against Tom Wilson in the past. I think Tom uh, Girard did pretty good overall in initial. But again, that's what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. We don't give any chance. This is why I feel like player doesn't want to come in Montreal. It's a simple, guys. The guy did not play one game, and we were already get saved about him. I can't wait to see him against Tom Wilson. I can't wait to see him again, Ryan Reeves. I can't wait to see him again, uh, Brady Ketchup. He's going to be bad. He's too small, never going to play a zero game with Montreal again. He never going to sign any contract with Montreal. He wants to become a UFA. This is all the what I heard in the last three months about Lennon Sun in the chat. Like it, hate me, but <laughs> this is a fact. I use that channel with facts. That simple. That's simple. Uh, Gary, with uh, Florence Jakai and Hudson uh, sign main uh, Islander as a good and uh, as it is as good is gone. Uh, then Mika talk about uh, Ren Ellis. Uh, this is a sad story for Ren Ellis, guys. Um, you know he dealt with a really bad illness. Uh, really sad, uh, Ren Ellis. Uh, then. Um, you know, cut trade for the Nashville to the Flowers and turn around to be bad for him. Never play many games because he's helped. And uh, we wish the best uh, for this, for him. And then Ren Ellis, uh, talk about the size of him. Uh, I know I'm uh, my draft best defenseman like a Detroit draft uh, Zader. Uh, and I, they have a lot of defensemen over there, and 26, but because they knew at the NHL draft this year, uh, Pat Brubick said, I uh, maybe trade Tristel to color coach Shea, and then I can draft a, a solid defenseman like Dickinson or um, Lichenov or any other defenseman and 26. So uh, you're right about that there. Um, I put a trade Madison, a young defenseman, uh, this summer. Uh, too soon to trade uh, uh, a young defenseman. We don't ever know who is the best yet. Uh, I will not trade Madison, guys. And 
I want to trade Seva uh, because we don't we are too young. If we go that one, guys, if we trade Madison, all right, I will tell you one thing here. It will take two more years before Montreal can in the end are going to be a better team in the NHL. Sorry to hear that. Because you cannot win game with Hudson, Jekai, Cooley, Aris, Kovacevic, and Strabol night after night. You cannot. I don't say because Madison uh, is going to save the team, but the minute of Madison with a player experience I'm talking about versus a player never play in the NHL or a player, a player never play over one other game, it's not good. You have to have experienced defensemen with a Montreal Canadian. And I, I said, I maybe add one more. We can take a time, put them in Laval, one more year. And yeah, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong to late on since start in Laval next year. Nothing wrong to Logan Mayu play another year in Laval. Nothing wrong to David Rebacker start next year in Laval. David Cherechek played two years in American Hockey League. Simon Nemec, two years. One year and a half. The time will tell us. Uh, but prospect Evans Ray, sorry, edition about the good defenseman. I agree with you about this. Uh, uh, Joyce Arrows is resting for the playoff. Uh, here we go. Like I said to you guys, I don't know if they're going to use him against Pittsburgh, but um, this is the way they do this. And now in Chicago tonight, Sharks will maybe the reason they do that. Do uh, you think the Ab are regularly getting rid of the way? No, no, uh, Willie. Uh, not at all. Uh, sometime in live, uh, we stay with someone, right? Because the kids, because you're scared to be alone, blah, blah, blah. Same thing with them. It was a time for them to split uh, for the way to move out of the Montreal area. And for the Montreal to have be sure uh, they gave a better spot, a spot for the one for our young players at the end of the day, Willie. So it's a win-win situation. The one have a good year over there. And uh, we wish the best for him. The man is making um, about this. Uh, Willie Dwayne is probably happy to be done. Say Hudson is not initial, really. It's not negative. It's just a bit realistic. Uh, about that, uh, I never said uh, you didn't say that. I think you said Bobby Orr. I would have, uh, I would up keep the one on a very specific role, but he did not have the mental as strength for Montreal pressure. That's a good point to see that. Uh, not really most of the house wish it better than Montreal, but it was not possible. Uh, Larry Lavalley is in the house. Uh, looking forward to next year. Would be nice to see the rookies. Um, I hope it does not happen, but uh, if you put Hudson in the lineup next year, too soon, he will get injured. Just my opinion. Uh, is it fair I can add full around with the Weber contract, uh, Gary Price, etc.? I did not do uh, that part of there. His two player was injury, uh, Patrick. At the same time, any one of them played zero game, right? And at the same time, zero one of them uh, participated in the playoff because they are not in the playoff. So I don't know. You compare, again, you compare something, it's not the same thing, right? If Vegas take Max Stone and he does not want him, they don't use Max Stone all the playoff, no problem with that part, right? And that's the rule I will set, I will change. There are no reason. If you cannot play the last game of the season, you're out of the playoff. Sorry, buddy, but this is the reality here, right? If you said, yes, but we, we, he can play in the playoff, put him on the roster at the end of the game, at the end of the season. Put him right there. Stay under the $83.5 million. Hurricane Blues 2-2. Some would be the long term of uh, farmer guarantee. Gary, uh, coach, they have to fix it. Uh, they cannot have uh, two uh, set of the rules one for a season, one for a player. Exactly. Uh, if I guess cannot fool around uh, with contract, uh, let's uh, put uh, back Weber a price contract back on the Montreal salary cap also. 
Patrick, you don't understand. And I can repeat again. Facts, Patrick. Right? The Montreal Canadian and any team can put any player the long term as your reserve. Not a problem. The Colorado Avalanche used Gabriel Lenstagog in the last two seasons. How many games he played the playoff? Zero. Right? Zero. That's what happening with Patrick Kane with Chicago, and that's happening with the Tampa Bay Lightning with Kucherov. Should not do this. Vegas use that. That's the second year they do the same thing. That, that's not fair. That's not right. That's the rule. They play the rules, yes. But at the end of the day, suddenly some can play now hockey. Suddenly. It takes two months vacation, and now we're going to get players. We can be a $96 million team, and now we can play Vegas. We can play in, in, in the playoff. So when you compare Weber and the Carey Price, it's completely not the same thing. Completely not the same thing. And I will say it again, the rule is not a problem. Long-term injury reserve is the rules. But at the playoff, how the team can play a $96 million dollars? Go to gym, vote, and not to dig further into the gap issue. A player injuries. Everyone, I guess, like the look uh, old uh, about this and our top. Uh, I think the reason behind that, the NATAP is still a negotiation very soon on the new contract. It could happen at the new CBA. Uh, because it's not cheating the team uh, that want to exploit would always take any advantage they can get to play on the easy mode. Montreal also benefit of borrowing uh, Weber a price contract. They did not, Patrick, did not make the playoff. Uh, for goodness sake, doesn't result give the guy a chance. Uh, Craig Hudson is the first pair, uh, first pairing right away. If you don't trade uh, Madison, at least put him on the share second pairing, no power play. Um, about that, uh, Lance will play. I see what you can see for Crane. A lot better than that's not even blessed. Uh, Aris uh, has been played way better. Okay, Starbull. And the last time game, I agree with you about this, uh, uh, Patrick. I said. Month ago, six weeks ago, maybe, Patrick. I think you have to go all the way more at 10 games. Struggle, struggle. He hit the wall. He hit uh, really uh, a wall, Patrick. Uh, every, every team is different, uh, Patrick, right? Uh, Simon Emek, the reason last year he, make, uh, he didn't make the team, Simon. Uh, because the core of the New Jersey, Simon, it was too much good. Uh, we talk about Hamilton. We talk about Severson. We talk about Marino. Uh, Sidney Heller. We talk about um, Ren Graves. Uh, that's five. And then they use Kevin Ba uh, behind that. And they have Brendan Smith before that. Uh, I missed one. So to Simon Nemec to make the first year right away with the Bulls, the team was not there. So exactly what I'm talking about, guys, right now. One Jordan at risk, Jackai, pop up in the lineup with Kaden Coley is because they have open spot. Right now, Montreal Canadian is not have a lot of open spot. And like you, Patrick said, Nemec start over there because the, the congestion of the situation could happen also with Lane Hudson, where it's not a problem with that part, like uh, Patrick said. Uh, look good these days. Qu'est-ce qu'il y a qui va s'activer? Allez là. With Patrick, a crachet de gauche. Here we go. I don't know. For the show again, for the beginning, on what's going on. Honestly, I'm happy for the one. He's good players, but he cannot carry a team with a mechanic. He got a pressure at all. I agree with you about this, uh, Nicholas. And like I said, guys, he was always said, and it, I, I got swam here, right? I always said, drawing guy delivery, 0.553 with a Montreal end point per game. He was the number two behind Suzuki for the last three years. And the people did not accept that. He was lazy, but again, he did it. <laughs> 
Thanks for all the like we got so far. Uh, Patrick, talk about this one uh, about Bobby Hill. I got it, Patrick. Uh, thanks, Coach. Uh, and then uh, Belchez, uh, six five to vet. Well, she was the first overall uh, tonight. Ones are. Uh, what this kid at uh, which uh, can be faster is kidding is a brother of Lindrosa. Uh, it would be interesting about this kid. Uh, glad to the Spitfire got that first pick uh, from the Windsor guy. He's going to be a really good uh, deep inside. He's in the house. Welcome back, my friend. Uh, it's not uh, uh, better to trade Weber contract uh, to the team or bring a contract just to get on the floor. There's a cap uh, for that, uh, Patrick. But Patrick, they don't use the players um, to be on the ice. So they don't take advantage of the players. Uh, they just take advantage of their salary to be sure they are not under cap. But you know, you have a team over a cap, and now the player play on the team. That's two different uh, opposite. Uh, for that, uh, uh, my Guelph uh, Storm, uh, Bob, look at Eric Brassard, Frazard, 6'5, 185 pound defenseman, mounting on the kid. Great to hear that. Uh, compare. Sarkaski to lend a a few days ago. Not a bad one, and N26, uh, it's not a bad one. Go, do you heard that uh, use was set up uh, to select Fowler with a 37 pick until they trade the pick for New York? Uh, he was shocked at when Fowler was still at uh, Elbola 69. Uh, yes, uh, they was on the second on the second round uh, on their list, and we knew uh, Herbal, Augustin, uh, is it Gajan? Oh my God, I could score his name now. And then Fowler, there was five of the top six goaltender and initial draft uh, before three five overall picks. So uh, they got Fowler 69 is a good pick for them for sure. Uh, we saw that. Uh, I heard about this. Uh, and after that, thanks to sharing. Uh, AK is in the house. Thanks so much, everybody. To click on the likes and mark it. Uh, Mark in, inside, uh, well, Mark Elliott is in, in the house. Uh, welcome, Mark. Hopefully, you're doing well. Uh, I love to see people come back in the chat. Roger, <laughs> talking about people, come back in the chat. What about Roger? Collette is in the house. Uh, uh, great comment. Uh, Congestion and defenseman is a problem. Player are not uh, benefit from uh, losing a bit healthy. Uh, scratch and uh, not play all the time. Play on the wrong side. Uh, Patrick. Uh, uh, Franco, anyway, I agree. Uh, previous GM uh, pyramid bottom goalie and everything like that. Uh, follow up on this. Uh, hey, coach, uh, why not cannot line Hudson become a winger if it, it's a uh, carb at the strong? That's it, must be a, a defenseman. I don't see Hudson to be a winger, uh, it's dif more difficult. He's a guy the player can carry on the puck a lot, uh, you limited his, his talent. So, we we'll disagree, Roger, to move any defenseman as a forward with a Montreal Canadian. Uh, Hudson, Saval, Kouli, Baron, Jekai, Kovacevic, Aris, uh, that's uh, what I want next year. Akim Mayu and Laval. Uh, so you don't have Rebacker and you don't have uh, Madison. Have you ever seen uh, Crux? Uh, Uh, people talk each other. I'm going to get question. Do you think Fuller? Uh, do you think Fuller uh, turn pro next season? I think he has nothing to left in pro and say. I don't think so, uh, Gary. Um, and the reason behind that is, I believe, Gucci is leaving for NCA uh, for NHL. I believe. Smith, Perro, and Leonard could stay one more year and NCA to carry on that Boston College with Fuller and with the new player are already there, like Little Nose coming there next season. Um, I feel like they will maybe wait one more year uh, to be with the group together. And um, 
and not on the personal note of Fuller, uh, but to have one more year, uh, college, nothing wrong. After two years, the, it's rare a player stay only one year. At least you an exception, uh, like Celebrini example, like Owen Power example. Uh, but normally, uh, they are two years uh, stay in college. Tobias play four years, I believe. Uh, three years permanently, and then one year uh, sporadically. Um, and we have Tobes right now at full and and uh, the Finland goaltender. I don't see the rush. I don't see badly about this. I think to be around a team like Boston College, really well done by the coaching staff, uh, well coaching with everybody else around the team, uh, to be around those players another year. And they've been together for a couple of years. I don't see this negative about this guy. Uh, to see shot an American academic, of course, it would be better for him. But to wait one more year, um, Gary, I don't see that. that I can get served for that. And shall need uh, tie him up, uh, uh, look old for playoff. It's too easy to suck on. Uh, uh, if you are selfish, uh, Roger, great point. I look at uh, Ken Shea uh, Paris. Uh, we have, I cannot remember so his team, uh, his name on the back of his uh, sweater, uh, thinking it was a kid out of Quebec uh, playing London, Ontario. Uh, William, uh, quick name, you don't then coach. Maybe this is, has been uh, asked already, but who is Hudson going to be ring with? Uh, um, it was one of my subject tonight. Uh, I believe he's going to be with David Saval. Um, and, and the first, sir. Uh, Rebacker or Caden Cooley, if you stay on the right defense, on the right side, uh, that would be my expectation. But I think uh, boy, uh, David Sawa will be my sele my selection, and I think they want to protect the kid overall. Uh, Roy. Great question, by the way. Hey, Mr. the Canadian back in the house. Uh, question, Nicholas. Uh, uh, what type of the player would you pair with the Dak next season and uh, who you would try to trade to get uh, that player for him? A uh, great question, Nicholas, about that. Uh, uh, I feel like they would keep Sakaski. At some point, I was thinking to split the, uh, the first line. I don't think so. They are too much successful. Uh, the front runner, I would say to you, Nicholas, Alex Newhook with Kirby Dak. Uh, that would be my front runner. Uh, after that, Joshua Rua, Gallagher, I know you don't like that answer, but it's the mix. Now, what prospect I would love to get, Nicholas, right away, it's Ken Johnson for Columbus Blue Jacket. This is the player I'm looking for, uh, for Nicholas to get with Kirby Dak and Alex Newhook right now. On the UFA, Nicholas, I would bring back money in. I was targeting... Uh, Chandler Stephenson, and the door is open for Jonathan Marchesso. So the, the, this is the three players I'm targeting as a year free. I know they have Gwenzel, Langholm, Reynard, Stankos, but I don't think Montreal is benefit for them to sign a new players by the way that level. That would be my option, Nicholas. Hopefully the answer to your question. That's why I love the Friday night, guys. Um, we're just talking and talking about fun things. Uh, use does not like uh, buying all the players, uh, but you think he need to win uh, two with Anderson? I don't think so. N26, I think they're going to have a good conversation with him at the end of the season. And honestly, it's Josh Anderson is going to have the final answer. Are you serious, coach? Yes. Jeff Petrie want to get out of Montreal Canadian. I think Josh Anderson and Ken Yule are going to sit together and Josh will request or not to leave the Montreal Canadian. If it's the case, Nick uh, N, I believe uh, Yule is going to try his magic to not to give away a plus, but to use a trait like Jeff Petrie. I don't see this happening. I still believe they're going to stay with Montreal for one more year. The, the leverage of three years contract is really hard. And Montreal is not at the point where they can need absolutely a player to make the playoff every time. that they, they still have one more year 
on the transition of the dead wood. When I say the dead wood, it's the dead contract, the Savar contract, the Armia contract, the Evans contract, the Devil Rack contract. Uh, they are the four contracts right now are on the final year next season. So if you think about that, the sit up player and the team should maybe not there in the next two years. So they can handle there for one more year and 26 with Anderson. But if Anderson wants to leave the building, now it's possible you try to make a trade where it will satisfy Anderson and be sure the Montreal does not give them a pick and return. But uh, that's my, my best thing about this. Uh, Nicholas, uh, the hockey is not great like a big state, like a Boston area. But the Celtic State is great and the sport in general, the basketball and everything like that. I think it's a new generation of people over there. And I think Nicholas around that would be turned around to be a good location, better at Arizona. Uh, why uh, or we always try to be negative with the new players that gave uh, the rookie a couple of years? Uh, well said, Roger. Well done. Exactly, Roger. Do they roll up the sidewalk at 9 o'clock today? Uh, coach, uh, the first pairing with Saval. Uh, no, uh, Saval play on the second pairing with Jekai, uh, usually. Uh, so Saval play right now with Madison, but uh, one, if they put Hudson in the lineup, uh, I feel like Madison is going to have a, a new uh, pairing, right defenseman, like maybe cover service for Baron. And then Sava with Hudson, and then you're going to they're going to remove one of the three, like maybe Iris or Strabble out of the lineup, Roy. Coach, is there a player freeze a, a free agent can you think he should target in the offseason or is still too early? Mark, I almost answered that question. I did a video about this this week, and I think uh, uh, my my plan I'm I'm looking for is Chandler Stephenson. Uh, following by Monahan and following by Marcheseau. You have my three players, Mark, uh, about that. All of the prospect as a UFA, uh, I was targeting uh, Ken Johnson. Now, uh, Martin Nekash, it could be on the on the market. I don't know who would be the cost of Martin Nekash, but that would be one. I know Trevor Zegras guy, I don't bring Zegras because uh, the chat get crazy and I don't want to talk about the grass. Uh, but they are the players I was targeting. Uh, it would be interesting what happening with the uh, guys with the Dallas Star. Uh, pay attention there. Why you said that? But they have, I understand they still have say games you sign, you know, sign contract will be done, everything like that. But at the end of the day, Dallas Star have a great rook. They have a great players prospect. Uh, Sakovin. Book two players on the same style, and I don't know if they can carry on both players on the same team. A good deal, you can get one. I don't think so. They would trade St. Coven, but possible book could be Maverick book could be on the market. We'll see, but I would be I would pay my attention on that players. I don't think so. And Matthew is going to try that Dylan, uh, Dylan uh, Alloway and uh, check Vancouver. Uh, with the uh, um, Bolzogin. That's how the player was talking. KDF, guys. I have my reserve, uh, my reservation about KDF. Uh, about that, uh, Roger. Uh, great. Mark, absolutely right about this. Don't take so all the light we got so far. Gary, okay, same very nice. Uh, ladies around. Uh, uh, Luke Lapasson is in the house. Welcome back, Luke. You will need to replace this player's coach uh, for that. Uh, yeah, for sure. Patrick. So it's straight round here in the college arena uh, with no uh, shuffle and the ground, and they receive every break uh, possible. Please, so don't let the door hit uh, on the way out, uh, William. For them, uh, I will give Anderson a Milligan and keep him next season. Uh, Gary, that's not a bad idea. Uh, William, it's happened sometime. Oh, there's one one. Adam and Ricky score. Uh, about that one there. So, everybody, 
Philip Kurashev scored a goal for the Chicago Blackhawks, uh, four to one. So, uh, you know, we go through the one hour uh, talking about the Montreal Canadian, and uh, we know we talk about Lane Austin and that shot, everything like that. We have a lot of things that we can talk about this tonight, guys. Uh, um, oh, we'll see what we got here. One for a day. Uh, let's not talk about, we just talk about Lane Austin, guys. But uh, Jacob Fuller uh, win a shootout block, the 32 shot he faced yesterday again in Michigan uh, to get a W, and they play on the NCAA championship game at 6 o'clock uh, Eastern time Saturday night again the Denver University. Fuller uh, did not win the, 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 the goaltender of the year in the NCAA, but he still have an amazing, great uh, year overall with the Boston uh, Eagles. And like he said, uh, Gary, We'll be see what he's going to do at the end of the game uh, the next day, but I don't think so. He's going. Uh, I don't see him to sign his contract right away with Montreal Canadiens. But what a great year for her! I think he's on the 16th straight game W um, for her, and uh, it's one of the reason the Boston College is so good. Fuller is one of the reasons. Six nine overall pick by Montreal Canadiens. Uh, this is another prospect we get excited and the first serve with the Montreal. Um, we'll see how he's going to be, his progression, his development uh, for that. Uh, too many bad contracts under Montreal. I don't think so. Uh, you go, come on, coach. You know, it's happened, guy, everything. Everything have a bad contract. They deal with. And they only hope they would be the big, the player can bounce back. So, 90% of the team have a bad contract. Look, the Montreal Canadiens, they are just rebuilding. They, they, it, they are on the process where they're supposed to be uh, at the end of the day, look, uh, for that. So wait from home advantage, William. Uh, Rick Begel is in the house. Uh, welcome back, Rick. Uh, thanks for being with us again, proving his leadership with the abs. Uh, can he have fund that may be uh, available in 26? Yes, uh, it could be available. I don't know. Behavior, work ethic, questionable. But the time we tell us about answers. Uh, until Montreal go back to uh, coverage, the five percent probably it doesn't matter who they get. Uh, slowing down a look. Yeah. I can agree with you. Finally, Caden Primo guy is going to be between the pipe for the Montreal Canadiens against Ottawa Senator tomorrow. There's the only news we got about Primo and the Montreal Canadiens. Add too many defensemen who say who leave. This is my question for you guys in the uh, in the chat. If you want to share it with me about this one, and that's all we got, guys. Um, and I know Madison Savard is not there with Kovacevic, but this is get we got guys that we have right now. Fifteen defensemen under twenty five years old, and you add after that Madison sixteen, you add after that Matt, uh, Saval seventeen, and you add cover seven guys. Eighteen players more talking in and the defensemen they have um, on the potential to play with more talking in. Yes, a little bit hard for Sobolev, but at some point, Montreal Canadian cannot carry on everybody. And there will be, uh, a, they will have to figure out something. La Valle is cooked. Belleville won tonight. Uh, here we go. And uh, seven scored a goal. Uh, Kevin up winning uh, 3 to 2. Uh, Willie, Erika, Kyle uh, McClellan won the Mitch Richard Award Golden Bear. Here we go, William. Thanks for sharing with me about that. Uh, Yamamoto on the mound, uh, Patrick, uh, for that. So it'll be interesting what we are going to do. Um, what kind of defensemen are you going to keep in trade? But what happening there is now can you have some asset to trade like they did with Romanov? I don't say they're going to trade Cooley. I don't say they're going to trade Jekai. I don't say they're not going to trade Baron. But at some point, guys, Coley, Jekai, Baron, that's three. 
Hudson, Rebecca, Mayu. That's six, right? And Ekstrom, that's seven. Yeah, Madison Saval, that's nine. They will have to select one or two defensemen, and I do not talk about Iris Strobel right now. Trudeau. Kovacevic, because I don't expect them to be with Montreal in the next three years. But this is where Montreal could have a good prospect, a good player in return, and I don't know which one to trade. And I don't want to tell you, oh, you said Jekai. No, no. I just said if they want to get something good in return, like they did with Romanov, they have now the potential to trade one of them to get something in return. The time will tell us about this. Uh, not much uh, initial talent in Laval, look. But let's start with uh, Ray Backer. Let's start with Logan Mayu uh, for the Laval Rocket. Um, and then after that, it's, quite, it's questionable, right? What could happen uh, with uh, Tobias? What could happen with Emil Eneman? And, and uh, the rest, uh, you know, we have a prospect. It's a team right now on the transition. Uh, I think the defenseman was too young, uh, Kelly Bo Bisson. Uh, but with now the additional player with Hudson next year, Rebecca and Mayu together, Trudeau, uh, I think it'll be good. You add Owen Beck next year over there, and then you're going to add Florent Jacquard uh, with the team, um, and then uh, we'll see what's happening there. Uh, Canadian, possible. I don't know. Benjamin was right. Uh, you cannot have uh, not too many defensemen. Uh, Rick Bengal. Uh, to win Arizona now, William McClary. Baron Trudeau, Nolander, Madison gone for sure. Gary. Uh, Baron Harris, Nolander, Trudeau will be a uh, cut uh, mark. Keep Coley, Madison, Ray Barker, Mayu, Patrick. I like that, uh, Patrick. Coley is the only one that's for sure with the ad next season. Cheka is a question because his shoulder injury uh, and 26. Uh, great point, Harry. And I will be honest with you guys. We are not set yet. Again, I'm... I'm I will wait this, guys. I will wait. But I, I will say to you, we are not set yet on defensemen. I, I will tell you in the next couple of minutes the reason I said that. Uh, Sebastian, I completely disagree with you about the Montreal Canadian incompetent. Uh, tell me the reason you feel, Sebastian, they are incompetent on Montreal Canadian. Uh, give, give us the, some facts, all right? Give me facts why you feel the Montreal are incompetent. Uh, there would be a trade for sure to help uh, make room for Hudson. Like I said, whatever you does, there will be a fan shock, but will be for the best. Chakai has the Max Stone uh, syndrome. <laughs> Gary. Yeah, keep calling Madison and Mayu and Rebecca and Hudson. Uh, and on top, uh, there are no trade to be made without knowing for sure if Arsene is initial ready or not, uh, Patrick. Uh, until I build a decent prospect uh, pool, it won't be a uh, long in there. Look, it's a process, right, to get there. So I'm not too much worried. Laval seems to be a uh, deficit. Uh, at forward, just like the Canadian. A great point about this one. Um, again, you, you, you're right about this. I don't say you dis I don't disagree. Uh, I think in the next year, it will be better overall. But right now, uh, Sebastian uh, uh, can use delivery. Send is on the, is on the job. Uh, what kind of season did Engstrom have? Wow, well, Mark, um, it's just getting better uh, for Engstrom. Good year overall uh, on the regular season and the playoff. He is a general right now. Uh, play uh, on the first pairing. Uh, 
have a couple of assists, but the way he play is so good. And uh, is for me, he is the underrated defenseman for the Montreal Canadiens. But again, like as like Patrick said, I disagree a lot with Patrick, right? But Patrick make a lot of great comments, by the way. And Patrick said, all the defensemen you see on the board right now, on the screen, we don't have Ramos Dadin. We don't have a player like Owen Power. We don't have a player like Luke Hughes. We don't have a player like Quinn Hughes. Yet. I don't know sometime, you know, like the Vikings, they go with Pietro Angelo. They go with a let. You know, they go with Pierangelo, Marcinais, McNabb, uh, Theodore. Um, the Flat Panthers have Monto, Eggblad. Um, you know, we don't have Edmund. We don't have Roman Ozzy. Uh, we don't have Eskinen. Um, so when I said that, is it good enough to, not, to, to draft a better defenseman this year, like Dickinson? Or Lishchenov, and that defenseman become your best defenseman over what you have, and then you can trade some of you have already, or you targeting a forward. That was my question. I would like to bring to you guys uh, for that. Uh, hopefully, Mark, I answer you. At a set allocation has been impressive, especially on the back ends. Uh, it will be make roster can save so much easier for them. They are good uh, shape, including Fowler, compared to a damn goat right now. A great point about this, William. I like uh, your statement about the Montreal Canadiens. Um, a, a lot of people complaining about Pobrav already. Uh, he got Sakaski, who got Rebacker. He hit, I believe, on Hudson. We don't know what happened with Philip Mazal. I didn't mention him for Laval next year, by the way. Uh, they hit possible on Fowler. Uh, they may be hit on Engstrom, and they hit possible on Konishov, uh, Konishakov, and the goaltender, a uh, vocal Kin uh, and, and KHL. So, so far, the Montreal Canadiens under Ken Hughes, Jeff Gordon, the NHL draft, they're looking good. You cannot hit the, the bonsai every time, but if they get every year one player make the NHL, or maybe two, that's pretty good. Coach look like uh, have, have uh, been a uh, building from defense instead of goalie or offense, or is that much of a hybrid a formula or they don't get it? Um, I think they really, they, 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 Franco, they go with old, right? When they, the, when they pop up, the new management, there are many holes on the defenseman and on the center. They fix Kirby Duck center. They bring Alex Newhook, right? And then on the defenseman, they got Ray Barker. Mayu Strobel, uh, Mayu Ecoli was only drafted by Marc Bergevin. They draft Lane Hudson. And now they stabilize a little bit better. They realize they may be missing now Winger, but uh, they start for that way uh, about this Franco. Now, that would be in the playoff uh, if they have a uh, cast uh, at the beginning of this year. Uh, Rick, I'm not sure, but. I think the fact they don't have two good goaltenders at the beginning of the season did not help for sure uh, about this use. Did everything right. I found out never happy. Crooks, I would say to you, 95% he did very well at uh, Crooks. Uh, the management are incompetent. They uh, don't put uh, the right players and they are lying. They are they're not at all. Not at all, Sebastien. Sebastien, Sakaski, a better year. Zuzki, a better year. Kaden Cooley, a better year. Montembeau, a better year. Primo, a better year. New Hook, a better year. Armia, a better year. Jekai, a better year. You said he got called up? Yes, but he have a better year. Madison, a better year. Who I miss? Gallagher, a better year. Jake Evan, a better year. <laughs> Are we complaining about that? That's what I said. What what do you what do you expect? We are a team at the bottom five in NHL. But the players develop.
Uh, Patrick, uh, Ray Barker and Mayu play uh, Visit Man. Hudson play uh, an NCAA uh, a way lower caliber league. Hudson is not on the same level than Mayu and Ray Barker. I would be disagree with you about this. Uh, Alex Sock is 22 years old. Uh, if you play against Will Smith, uh, you play against Gabe per Perrault, Cotton Gauthier, and uh, that's pretty good. Um, for me, it's all about the, 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 the talent, the skill you are. By the time we tell us. About that. Uh, How many uh, guys should you keep a uh, regular, Larry? Um, are you talking about... I don't know, Larry, if you talk about the, the next season. I hope not. I can go with the, the roster at 13, 8, and 2 goaltender. Coach uh, William... Uh, is Hudson play Monday again the Wings? Uh, did I heard that right? Uh, yeah. Uh, they expect him to play one game um, until the, the on maybe one of the two games in uh, um, uh, William. He will skip the game again Ottawa and we'll see it, what he looked like overall. But William, yes. That's what the, the prediction we had. Uh, let me uh, also add that uh, Hudson and Celebrini uh, fell to get their team all the way to the end of the... I don't think so, they fell. Uh, Patrick? I think they did very well overall. A team always loses uh, at the end. Uh, Hudson Matthews scored 68 goals and they lost the first round. You're going to say to me, Matthews, Uh, fell. Uh, McDavid fell. McKinnon fell. Um, let's see. Uh, Matthew Katsuk fell last year. Uh, Kisharov fell last year. Uh, Ken McCall fell last year, Patrick. If Jacob Fowler lost the game, fell, uh, Patrick. Uh, you could say the same thing about McDavid and Trussado. That's my point behind that. Uh, why do the Canadiens are going to make the playoff? Uh, why the Canadiens are going to make the playoff? If my prediction, I would say to you, uh, three years, but maybe close to second year from today. I don't think Rick, um, Rick, Matthew is going to get that, that MVP. Uh, for that, uh, if you are used, would you trade uh, six uh, for Askarov, Nashville, worth the add fifth pick uh, at the draft? Askarov was uh, the, uh, the rumor return. Yeah, it's easy to talk about this one year and 26. Um, but the circumstance, uh, uh, fact like the time we tell us, but I don't, uh, it's a good answer. It's very hard to answer this. I think for me, go down would be uh, not a specific about this. But I don't think so. Uh, uh, it's six. Five pick last draft. Uh, uh, you trade fifth uh, for Askarov. Najid won the and on target in the fifth. That's why Askarov with the number. Yeah, so you, you get number 15 and 26, and you get uh, Askarov in return. I don't know Askarov enough uh, about the talent, about the behavior, everything like that. Uh, I think Montreal is preferred to keep number five versus 15 at the end of the day. 
uh, with SMD, they have to uh, only nine players in this story to have scoring SMD, uh, SMD uh, goal there. I don't see uh, how much you don't get that one of the MVP. Uh, look, I want to win my win my bet. Uh, um, it could be a center. The good news, he can play winger too. Um, but with Devil Rack right now, with Dak is ski, I think New Hope it would be more a winger at that moment for the Montreal Canadian. Uh, to the gauge so that uh, voilà, Nicola, he trans, he won't train at uh, Hudson, that's number three, uh, a higher draft pick. Uh, but what you're going to get there, uh, good point about this. Uh, add Montebo better year coach. Uh, yeah, I put his name there, I believe, Randy with Primo, but um. I agree with you, William, about that. Uh, ça pourrait arriver comme ça, Nicolas. Not a problem, Larry. Here we go. Oh, then he did it. Uh, It's something, Mark uh, Panarin is not going to be recognized, but you you nail it, uh, Mark. You, you're absolutely right about this. Uh, this year, would you say Carfield uh, been a better than Debrincat? Um, Debrincat scored what nine goals his first thirteen game. Since that, that uh, is what at twenty seven, if I can recall it, uh, Nicholas. Uh, he struggled a lot. Uh, I feel like Caulfield have better year overall at the brain cap. No more opinion. We have a great point look about that. Uh, Uh, so this, uh, Amanda Patrick, not as soon as Calibrini was played at the league where uh, parity is not the same to the NHL, uh, they should um, uh, eat less one to the finals. All right, I cannot argue. <laughs> what I would say, it would not help anybody anyway. Uh, William, I believe Gerald Egala and Jose Teodoro will uh, 2002 tie for the art, uh, Montreal, a writer. Uh, what to Theodore as a winner with William. Hey, coach, it's okay uh, to lane uh, to burn off one year of his coach uh, contract by only play a three to three game. If there's it as to two years left, uh, isn't that, that uh, super bad? Not allowed as part of that. This is the, the, the NCA rule that gave advantage over a junior uh, Sparta. It just happened for the good that, you, you know, the player have a a team expect that players just normal. It just happens every year, uh, Sparta. Uh, where is the glory and the making the playoff with a deficit that team had been sweep in the first round? But this is, this is the uh, Roy, when you start the season, what you try to accomplish is try to win the Stanley Cup. And to win the Stanley Cup, you have to be sure you try to make the playoff. That's the goal of each team at the beginning. It does the goal of each player. That's the goal of the management. So this is the way you play hockey. Uh, this is the way. It's like if we cannot finish, if we cannot make the final, we better not be out of the playoff. No, it's you have a purpose and live and, and as a hockey player is to try to win the Stanley Cup. You lose in the first round. It's happened, and 
people complaining about Toronto. You should not be complaining about Toronto, guys. They play every year against a solid team. Yes, they lost against Columbus and they lost Montreal at the, at the, at the beginning. But overall, every year you get lost against Boston, eliminated by Tampa Bay or Boston or Florida. That's so hard to win in NHL. So I disagree with you, Roy, about that. And then uh, again, and I thought some secondary assists are, I don't know. Uh, for that, uh, look at uh, Alexander Morgan, so it's emotional. Uh, as you know, I also bet uh, on a cap uh, and a tap, uh, go right there, pick up everything. Uh, for that, uh, lucky and a tap, uh, Mark, uh, Wendy, I know, Brett, all. Uh. Here we go, guys. I'm not done yet. I have a couple of things to talk about uh, before we go. If you have a chance to go in NHL draft, this is going to be at the Sphere NHL draft in Vegas uh, uh, this summer. Uh, you can go there if you want to get there. That'd be great. Uh, here in Opus today, and uh, two, two bad news uh, for the NHL draft. Uh, Caden links from a Berkeley captain season over uh, with injuries uh, and did not, com com did not complete the season. And then they are not going to play for Team Canada at U18. They were supposed to be center number one, center number two for Team Canada at the U18. This is a really, a really bad news for Team Canada. And I foresee both players have a good year overall. Uh, hip, uh, so, um, for captain, is battled with a hip injury for many months. Now going to request a surgery, but uh, it's a little bit questionable about both of them. Do, is an effect for the draft pick? I don't think so. But uh, you have to be concerned about their injury for sure. Uh, more examination will be a uh, go there. Uh, Morgan should be on the Hall of Fame in a minute. Uh, and a tap, that's it, three point size. Uh, here we go. Go to that one over there. The next one, guys. Uh, um, this is Dimitav, by the way. Uh, Dimitav, one of the great hockey players right now, is. Uh, and you have a lot of conversation in the NHL, guys, talking about Dimitav uh, for the NHL draft. Uh, and after that, you have Katten, you have Azerman. And Dimitrov, like I mentioned to you, and Lindstrom. And I think for me, guys, uh, my point behind that is Montreal Canadian, whatever this, whatever they are, number five in NHL. Let me go that way. That one, I'm not sure if there's the next one. Who do you believe Montreal should go? Captain, Lindstrom, Dimitrov, Egelin. Or they get a selection defenseman. Whatever happening, Montreal Canadian at number five are going to select a great forward. This is so important to finish number five. They are better player on the board. And I'm not sure a length strong is going to be there. But the time will tell us. What happened? that? And do you think Montreal should select Dimitar? I'm not sure about. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, people questionable about Catton, uh, his size. Uh, then some people like Marco is questionable about Azerman uh, become an old strong in NHL. We'll see. And Randy go with Igela, uh, number five. But at the end of the day, it would be interesting what could happen with a Montreal Canadian on that pick uh, for that one over there. The game throw again, Ottawa, guys, uh, do you try to win or you try to lose? Uh, and then you have two games again, the throw Red Wings to finish number five at the pick for the Montreal Canadian. Uh, but like I mentioned to you, it's already a winner for the Montreal Canadian with that length strong, Azerman, a captain, Dimitov, a Igela, like Randy said. Uh, at the end, Montreal Canadiens are going to have a good pick 
And number five, um, if it's happening, talking about Montreal again, guys, expect Montreal again are going to sign the next couple of days, uh, Kapanen, Oliver Kapanen. And Oliver Kapanen is going to have a three years contract entry level with Montreal Canadiens. But Kapanen, expect him to return with Liga League next season, by the way. I didn't mention this earlier. I apologize uh, for that one over there. And finally, Fuller is a real deal for the Montreal Canadian prospect. Uh, would be interesting what is going to be happening to him next year. But uh, I think there will be an amazing, great uh, prospect at long term for the Montreal Canadian. Philippe Brené, Langstrom, Azerman, Dimitav. That's uh, what I want and other crux. Uh, great pick about this. Uh, um, let's see what we got here. Uh, for that, the uh, ad doesn't need a power forward. Good point about this, uh, Randy. Uh, question, is Dimitav talent compared to Mitchkov? Do answer you uh, other question, not Aguila. Um, now, Dimitav, guys, uh, for what we heard, is better talent at Mitchkov overall. Um, they compare Dimitav, guys, like Kusherov. So that was the next one about this. The Hurricane went 5-2. to two. With that last, the Blues are out uh, auto almost automatically. Correct, the was a point like that. Uh, I won the same cup with uh, the worst uh, rake uh, players uh, on the game in the show. I was that good. Uh, Otani, a transition, sold $60 million out of him. How about uh, looking at your bank account? I won't say why. Uh, maybe I'm wrong in a tap. I got a shot uh, captain in the playoff this year. Yeah, uh, now captain play with an injury, by the way. But we'll see. Um, Dimitrov going top three. Langston would be top four. Uh, he was 6 1. It would be pick number five and 26. Uh. And at that, Olkowski, uh, Lemieux have been there several times. Uh, I would agree with Randy. Coach, a player don't play to lose. They play to win. At least the coach is, yeah. I agree with you, Franco. Uh, I haven't time they won, but that shit, I have to go about it. Uh, right, both uh, Captain and Langstrom been hurt, uh, but uh, yeah, Aguila is interesting, but he's really better than uh, those two. Is a trend kind of player, Nicholas. Um, I said natural number five, uh, but the, he, he's getting there. He's, he's getting closer at six, seven, eight. Uh, best Russian players ever. Not sure yet the, uh, for Demidov. He's getting now close to Kuzev with a point average per game. Uh, Kuzev never been a great in uh, with um, an NHL, but uh, he's getting close. Uh, Marco is in the house. Uh, say hi. I just talked about you when I said Eisenman, Bury Federal, Ovechkin. Or you, it was a question. Or maybe I apologize uh, uh, and I tap. Uh, but ever is an I tap, Federal or Ovechkin. Ovechkin to a number of goals, he said. But I will take Federal for my complete players. Federal was a center, Ovechkin is a, uh, is a winger. And if I have to have a team format, I will go with uh, Federal. I could be wrong, uh, by the way. But uh, I think that's the way I will see that. Uh, thanks again for all the like we got tonight, uh, guys. Uh, we hit the 940 already. The time is flying, by the way. I know, guys, you like... Uh, you like me to do, um, uh, we do always a friendship quiz and also the prison NHL. But before that, a lot of people leave when we do that and understand it's nothing wrong. I want to do what we try to accomplish every uh, every every um, every night. Now we're going to do the, the Takaton uh, Montreal Canadian. Uh, try to get what I can go for this one over there uh, to bring you... Um, We'll see if uh, we're going to get a, a winner tonight. Uh, uh, let's see what we got here. I don't know if I have a play-by-play -play here. Question, intermission. 
Not too bad. Is it this one? Oof. It's not perfect, guys, but uh, it's better than nothing. Uh, we're going to go that direction tonight again. And let's see what we got for you guys. I'm going to do the the request of that one. Here we go. A little bit better. For that. First of the night. Oh. The Montreal Canadiens, select number one, win the left three tonight. I don't think so. We should go with number two, number three. <laughs> Not about that one over there. I think we should. I would try again. Uh, Montreal number five is three, number five on that one. And, and I'm jumping number three. And finally. Montreal go number six. Calgary jumping from seven to number one. And that's what we got tonight, guys. <laughs> on that, uh, on this uh, simulation uh, draft, uh, Montreal Canadian. Let's go back uh, uh, where I'm supposed to be. Uh, Montreal is on free coach. Uh, yes, look, uh, wait. Uh, my luggage got <laughs> to permission. Permission, Franco. Well, oh, stop right there, <laughs> Gary, about this. Uh, former agent David, uh, and then go set and it we get to 2016. Quebec State, hope oh, get through the senator moving. Not a bad point, Patrick. That would be the hope for them. About that, guys, uh, this concludes, guys, everything we have to do tonight. Uh, hopefully you enjoy it. We're not done yet. We're going to move on on what we do tonight. Uh, the, uh, for the Montreal Canadian uh, of the prediction of the, of the game. And let me go ahead, uh, right here. Uh, prediction, guys, we didn't do any prediction last week, so we have to give you the result of two weeks ago. And uh, I don't know this part. Uh, um, two weeks ago, guys, Coach Yamo, Luc Lafortune, Peter Auguste, and Bob the Ongol, all of five are on the bus, and Patrick Leblanc, you are in the jail tonight. And for the season, guys, I still winning by two uh, tonight. And we'll see what's happening for the last se selection of the Saturday night season at NHL uh, happening about this. And then for the tomorrow for the jail, as our friend Patrick is going to be on the jail for the show tonight. Uh, sorry about that, uh, Patrick. And then uh, the only thing I did not do, guys, is uh, cut the schedule of the month of the season, guys. Let me go there. Uh, let me fix this, guys. Uh, we have 13 games in NHL tomorrow. And I apologize. I did not set up. I forgot to put that one. Uh, schedule. Let's see what we got for you. Saturday. And I'm going to go here. I'm going to create a sharing screen. Here. And you can see the this screen. screen. Uh, you're going to see the 13 game we have to go. I know it's a little bit uh, uh, not great, but it is what it is. Uh, can I go a little bit bigger here? Hold on, hold on. I can increase that maybe. Here we go. Is it better? Uh, it's getting better. Hold on. Thanks so much. When you do things on fly, that's happening. And we see the first game of the night, guys. The New York Rangers against Islanders. And I will fly with that one over there. Following by the Dallas Star and the Saddle Kraken. Following by the C 
Colorado and Winnipeg Jet. Oh, this is the game of the day, honestly. Oh, uh, about that, uh, then we have Florida Buffalo. We have uh, Flowers, New Jersey. Capitals, Tampa Bay. Ah, what about that? Montreal, Ottawa. Toronto, Detroit. Nashville, Columbus. Boston, Pittsburgh, Edmonton, Vancouver. Oh, this is the game. Kings, Ducks. And finally, San Jose versus Minnesota. Uh, no, Ron, it was two weeks ago, Ron. Uh, it was not last week. <laughs> Patrick, it's not fair. I go with, uh, I go with uh, Mark Celebrini. Thanks so much, Randy. No, run is two weeks ago. Run. I think Nashville is going to go that direction. But great point, uh, Roy. Don't care anymore, coach. <laughs> look. We have to finish this uh, look all the way to the end. One more push, look to the barrel. No, uh, look, uh, Nicola. I agree with you, Randy. Right, also, yeah. We'll give you one more minute, guys, in the chat. Thank you, Bob. Here we go. I give you guys everything you need to know. Yes, Roy. We're going to finish, guys, the last friendship quiz of the season. Um... Well, yes and no, not really. We have to consist the season will be over, but uh, we can go with that way. Hold on, guys. Nicola, thanks so much, uh, Nicola. 
Où est mon Nicolas? Here we go, guys. This is the time of the quiz tonight. I'm going to set up uh, everything we should go here. Go all the way back uh, down. There we go. We turn off. Uh, congratulations to uh, NRTAP. Uh, Save G won the last uh, time. NRTAP late at 9 on that one. Uh, Willie Snyder, I got you, my friend. Thanks so much, Willie. First question number one of the night. Uh, How many seasons since 2000 have had four games or more with 75 minutes of penalty for both teams? So for both teams have a minimum of 75 minutes. Uh, on that one, Ron, I got you, my friend. And we have right now two teams, two times. It's happened three times, four times, five times, or six times. How many seasons since 2000 and four games or plus uh, with 35 minutes for both teams? Good luck, everybody. Gary, Willie, go with C. Thanks so much. Crow, go with C. Everybody go with C with four. Are they all the winner? Ron, go with B. Yes, Roy, I do. Uh, Roy, Patrick with C. I follow more the Canadian team at the beginning, Roy. Uh, we have Bob with D, Roger at C, Nicola with A. Look at person at C and at at E. When we got Luciano, we can move on. Uh, Randy, go with E. Luciano said D. Here we go, guys. I think we got everybody in the chat. Oh my God! And I don't know my last. Uh, here we go. The answer, guy, is A. Only two seasons in the last 23 years, uh, we have uh, four games a plus with 35 minutes per game. And we have only Nicola de Gobi Bono score the first goal of the night. Uh, congratulations, Nicola. Great play by Nicola. Question number two. Question number two. This one. Which player below did not have 1,000 assists during his career in NHL? We know Sig Grasby what he accomplished. Corey Gilmore, Adam Oates, Joe Sakic, or Marcel Dion. Which one did not have 1,000 assists? Forty-three game until the end of the season. RJ, great start, uh, RJ. Roy said D, but not good enough to get a W. A Roy. Go, Nico, go. Look at great point. Oof. Now we got the B, Bob's. Uh, e for Willie. D for RJ. Roger Collette, go with D. Uh, Patrick go with A, Claude go with A. We wait for the people. Randy go with B. Let go with A. Ron go with D. And after I go with B. Listener go with E. Roy go with B, Nicola with B, Gary go with A. I think we got everybody. Thanks so much, guys. Stay with me until to the end. Oh my God! Here we go. It's another A. It's Yari Kuri. And with that, 
Patrick Le White uh, with uh, Claude Richard, Luc Lapoursin, and Gary Cornouille tie the game with Nicolas de Bobby Bono. And they are 1 and 2, and the rest of the people are 0 2. Don't give up. We still have three more questions to go until the end of this show. Question number three. Which NHL player is the youngest to reach the 1,000 game in NHL? Wayne Gretzky, Dale Awachuk, Vincent Danfoss, Patrick Marleau, or Brian Bellows? Which one is the youngest player to reach 1,000 game? Uh, the gentleman said uh, E, by the way. I have either A or B coach. En plus, j'y sais, with the A, Nicolas. Get more surprise you in a tap. Yeah. All those Canadians, guys, 2-2. Uh, two, two. Can the Canadians get one point tonight? That'd be excellent for Montreal Canadian. Uh, I'll just go with B. I will check. Uh, Ron, go with B. We have Bob with C, Claude Richard with A. Luke with B, Willie with B, Patrick with B. Nicolas go with A. Ready go with A, uh, with B. Sorry about that, uh, Ready. Gary go with B, Roy go with B. And after I go with B. And Luciano. A. Here we go. Oh my God! It was an easy one uh, for everybody. Uh, the answer is B. Now we have it. Patrick LeWhite, Luc Lapoursin, Gary Cornouille take the lead. And we have a goal from RJ. Uh, we have our uh, run, Willie Snyder, Randy Walkman, Roy, and NR Tap at least one goal and three attempts. Congratulations on all of you guys. Question number four, two to go. Do you know who is the only player with a multiple playoff penalty shot with a goal? Is it Neil Broden, Michael Folick, Phil Esposito, Eric Landros, or Phil Apps? Hmm, the racing coach, long time ago. Patrick, remember Phil Apps? They will score with a bomb that Dodger are crazy. Run with B. Well, he started with A. Nicola, the go B bundle, go with B. Willie with A. Ozzy with D. Patrick with B. Look at with C. Randy with B. Gary with B. Bob with B. Claude Shaw with E.
Ah, que a ver. Un artap. Oui. Le chien aussi. Ah, c'est intéressant. Et ce gars est B. Michael Follick did it. Uh, with that W, guys. Patrick LeWhite et Gary Conway are at 3 now. Roy is at 2 with Ron and they have Luc Lafourson and Nicolas at 2 with Randy Walkman. All of you can tie the game if uh, Gary Conway uh, and uh, Patrick are wrong for the last question of the night. How many seasons in NHL history have had a minimum of three players with 80 assists or more? Seven, seven, and this year, guys, does not count. All right, apologize. But uh, seven, nine, 11, 13, or 15 seasons and in NHL history with 80 assists and more with three players. Uh, oh, flick, uh, Nicolas, two and four. Canada went five to one tonight. Uh, here we go. We'll be interesting. Your last answer on that one. Randy go with E. Ron will go with D. Both of them are two. If they are right, uh, could win the game tonight. Uh, well, it's not uh, with B. Uh, Nicolas de Gobi, but no with B. Nicola could tie the game also tonight. RJ with A. RJ is one and four. Willie Snyder is one and four. Randy is two and four. Halloween pie. Bob go with C. Kalusha go with C. Uh, Gary go with C, Patrick Lawai go with A. Oof, D, Roger, Colette, Patrick go with A, and after go with C, Luke with E, Roy with B, Lucien will go with E, good, good luck, uh, Gary, with Patrick, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh. We have a winner tonight. Patrick or Gary? Gary Cornoyer knocked the door with four and five tonight for Gary Cornoyer, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations, Gary Cornoyer, on that one. And. Uh, Well, that one, Gary Cornoyer. Uh, da, 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 Gary Cornoyer, this is his five time of the year win the contest tonight uh, for the Hockey Nation Live Show. So, congratulations, Mr. Mr. Uh, Gary Cornoyer. I tried to do something here, guys, uh, just before I move up uh, on the end of the show. And uh, what a great uh, end of the game, uh, guys. Everybody, hopefully you enjoyed the show tonight. That was conclude the show. We'll be back tomorrow night, 7 o'clock p.m. Montreal play again, Ottawa Senator and Cantata. Cantata? Canada, And Ontario, again, the Senator. Hopefully you enjoyed the show again, like I mentioned to you. It's time for me to go. Sun Cran, the Festival of the Water. Watch my video. I'm going to make some video uh, today. I'm going to go early afternoon. I'm going to be Tasted. I'll be washed, uh, washed out uh, at the end of the night. Hopefully, I'll be healthy enough to survive. But uh, we'll see. But what a great night of hockey, guys. We talk a lot about the Montreal Canadiens. Hopefully, you enjoy it. We want to thank the moderator, Run With Kings, uh, and our top, Luciano Cresciano, to be with us tonight uh, to carry on that show all the way to the end. What about each one of you carry on with a click on the likes? Uh, amazing, great uh, to be around everybody. And of course, uh, uh, that's it. Uh, the beginning of the weekend for all of you and hopefully you're going to enjoy the last weekend of NHL uh, uh, season regular 
season 2023-2024. Well, the time is flying, my friend. One day at a time. Hopefully you enjoyed the show. And remember, you are awesome. You are amazing. You are the best. And remember, you have greatness inside of you. Here we go. Another show over at the Hockey Nation, App Nation. And of course, we want to remind you guys, be well, be well. Find a way not only to need your day, but find a way to donate the first half of what, Nicola? Your 2024. Be ready for the weekend, guys. Three more games for the Montreal Canadiens. We'll be back uh, Sunday night for the weekly recap for one more time of the season. And then Monday, Tuesday, Montreal Canadiens play again at Detroit Red Wings. It would be interesting to watch Lane Hudson play uh, with the Montreal Canadiens next week. And until then, my friend, we wish you an amazing, great weekend. Enjoy. And the Hockey Nation, I show you. The Ab Nation will tell you one more thing. We love you, people. Have a great weekend, everybody. See you tomorrow night, 7 p.m. Absolutely, Patrick. Uh, look, thanks so much. Nicolas de Goubi Bono. What about RJ Calabro with all the scoreboard? Again, RJ Delivery. Thanks so much, my friend. And look, uh, we wish you an amazing great night, a great weekend. Look, the person. And Nicola, in our tap, uh, of course, Bob's. Uh, always a pleasure to have you aboard. Larry Lavallee, have an amazing great night. Gary Conway, of course, uh, Willie Snyder was with us. Roy, and one in the house uh, tonight. Uh, and we have Roger Collette with Claude Richard uh, with us uh, tonight. Uh, I miss a couple of people. I apologize, guys. Try to pick up everyone. Until the end of the show, uh, Randy Walkman in the house. Thanks so much, Randy. Have you aboard tonight? Here we go. That's it. That's all. Is ready. Booyah!